Hello, everybody. Once again, it is story time with Teacher Cole. For those who don't know me, I'm your host, Teacher Cole, and I am the owner of Teacher Cole's English Corner, also known as TCEC. TCEC is an online English tutoring company with many international teachers who are highly qualified and educated and ready to teach your child English online, utilizing many of the subjects that they already have in school. But today is story time, and we have a unique and interesting topic today. Today, we are going to read Bully Bill. Bully Bill is a big bull who thinks because he is strong and big, it gives him the right to do whatever he wants, even if it hurts others. Let's read about how the farm animals handle this bully of a bull. Let's get started, shall we? Bully Bill by T. Albert, illustrated by Ma Illustrations, produced by Monkey Pin. Farmer Fred had just bought a new bull. He named him Bill. Bill was a strong and handsome bull with great horns. He was very big for his age. Farmer Fred got Bill. The bull loaded into the trailer and headed back home to his farm. When they arrived, Farmer Fred said, Bill, Welcome to your new home, Bill just snorted and tossed his head back to show off his impressive horns. This was all new to Bill as he was raised in a small stall and his new home was very different he had a lot to explore. Bill stood on the hill and watched all the barnyard animals. He thought to himself, I am the biggest farm. I am the biggest animal on Farmer Fred's farm. No other animal has such great horns. Hmm. What do you think? about Billy Bull. Do you think he's a nice bull? Let's find out. Bill chuckled at the chickens as they slowly walked up to them. They were so small and they didn't have horns. As Bill approached, the chickens clucked. The lone duck ducked as Bill almost stepped on her. Bill lowered his head and quickly shook it from side to side, right in front of the chickens. I'm Bill, the bull, and I'm bigger than you chubby chickens, he said in a deep voice. And I am the boss of the barnyard. Bill the bull frightened the chickens. They rapidly ran, flipped, flopped, and flew to the safety of their cozy coop. This made Bill, the bull, laugh loudly. Ha ha ha! He was having fun. Do you think it was very fun for the chickens? Are they happy? Bill saw some plump pigs in the mud and decided to play a prank. As he approached, he said loudly, I heard Farmer Fred say that he needed some bacon for breakfast and ham for dinner. He then laughed loudly and tossed his head around, showing off his great horns. Is Billy kind to the pigs? What do you think? 
This frightened many of the pigs and they proceeded to their pen for protection. The biggest pen, the biggest pig named Porkchop walked up to Bill and said, you are a very mean bull, Bill. Bill snorted a reply. Well, you have a big flat nose, a tornado tail, and pink ears. Also, you are dirty and smelly. Bill then lowered his head, snorted a great snort, and shook his horns at pork chop. Is Bill very kind? Was it nice to say what he did to pork chop? What do you think? Porkchop was a wise old pig and knew what Bill was doing. He wouldn't be bullied by any bull, even Bill. Now, Bill, the bullying bull, was expecting Porkchop to mush through the mud and proceed to the pen for protection. But Porkchop just stood there looking at him. Then Porkchop said in a soft voice, you are a very mean bull, Bill, and walked away. How do the barn animals feel about Bill? Do you think he's mean also? Then Bill saw some sheep in the meadow. Bill began to walk across the big barnyard towards them. When he got there, he was met by the Roger Ram, the leader of the flock. I'm Roger Ram, rejoicing at meeting my newest neighbor on Farmer Fred's farm. He said in a very polite manner, Bill ran at Roger Ram, snorting and shaking his big horns and said, I am Bill the Bull. I am the boss of the barnyard. In a split second, Roger Ram rammed Bill, the bullying bull, between his big horns. Bill, the bullying bull, looked at Roger Ram and said, all that white curly hair might give you lots of flair, but you ram like an ewe. Then Bill backed up, started to paw at the ground with his hefty hooves, snorted seven snorts, shook his horns, lowered his now lumpy head, and Roger Ram and the others retreated from the meadow. Bill, the bullying bull, was proud of what he had done. All the barnyard animals were afraid of Bill. He was either threatening them with his size and big horns or making fun of the way they looked. It was not a pleasant day on Farmer Fred's farm. I am going to call him Bully Bill, said Henrietta Hen. That's not nice, responded Roy Rooster. It's being a bully yourself. Well, we will work on something to stop his bullying, said Toby Turtle. Roger Ram said, I don't know what we can do. I rammed him and he called me a ew. Dorothy Duck said, he almost stepped on me with those heavy hooves. No one is safe. With tears in her eyes, Little Patty Piglet said, I heard I was going to be eaten by Farmer Fred. I'm scared. Porkchop said in a soft and soothing tone, Don't worry, my friends. By the evening feed, by Farmer Fred, Bill, the bullying bull, will become our buddy. Hmm. Do you think they will become friends? Will Bully Bill turn into a nice bull? Hmm. 
Let's find out. Bill was having so much fun. He certainly was the boss of the barnyard. He looked around and saw a big barn with open doors. And he just had to let whoever lived there know that he was boss of the barnyard. It was a bright, sunny day. But as Bill walked into the barn, the dark, dark barn, he couldn't see anything. He, this frightened him a little. He turned the corner around the door and boom, he was stopped in mid stride. Bill realized that he had just walked into something really big, so big. It didn't move when he walked into it. <gasps> oh my, what could he have walked into? Can you make a guess? Let's find out. As Bill's eyes adjusted to the darkness in the barn, he started to see what had stopped him. He was looking at the chest of some big animal. Bill was scared. As he looked up, he could see the biggest bull with the biggest horns staring down at him. A voice like thunder filled the barn. I finally get to meet Bill, the boss of the barnyard. Now, Bill didn't know what to do or what to say. All he could do was look up at the giant and wonder what would happen next. There was silence in the barn for several minutes as Bill just looked up in amazement. Finally, the big bull said something. I am Brian Bull and have lived on Farmer Fred's farm for many, many years. In all those years, never have the other animals asked me for help. But today, they came to me with the story of a big bull that was bullying them, and they asked me to put an end to it. I agreed. Bill was never, ever so frightened. Brian could toss him across the barnyard with little effort and one push from his head. Brian slowly lowered his head. Bill looked down and began to shake. Brian got closer and whispered into Bill's ear. What do you think I should do, Bill? I promised the other animals I would put a stop to your bullying. Please believe me, Brian, you have, Bill said in a truly honest voice. I have never been so frightened in my life, and I know how the other animals must have felt. Bill began to sob a little. I now know how it feels to be bullied. And you didn't even really bully me. I have learned my lesson and I will go out and apologize to all the animals and ask them to forgive me. You don't have to, Brian said. You already have. As Bill turned around, he saw all the other animals standing in the doorway. Here, pig, pig, pig. Come on, chick, chick. The animals heard the farmer, heard Farmer Fred calling them for the evening feed. Porkchop walked over to Bill and said, come on, buddy, let's eat. This is the end of our story today. So I have a question for you. Have you ever been bullied? Have you ever seen somebody been bullied? What did you do about it?
this is something I really encourage you to talk to your parents about. If somebody is bullying you, please tell your parents or a teacher or some other adult that's in charge. Nobody should ever be able, ever, ever be made to feel like they are less or scared. Everyone should be treated equally. At the end of our story today, we once again are reading a book from Monkey Pen. Monkey Pen has a bunch of wonderful and interesting books, and you can also order personalized ones that can have you in the story. They are lots of fun, and they have many interesting topics as well. Well, as always, I welcome you to join me again next week for a new story with Teacher Cole. And you are welcome to join our Facebook group, Teacher Cole's English Corner. You will have access to me, Teacher Cole, and all of our teachers on staff, as well as have access to like-minded parents just like you. Well, until next week for a new story, see you later. Goodbye.